That was probably the most expensive pillow ever thrown at sea. Welcome inside my humble abode. Hey, you're in bed with me. So I am on Queen Mary 2, also known as QM2. It is the GOAT of passenger ships. This thing is the Michael Jordan, the Usain Bolt, the Tom Brady. So here we go. Inside Queen Mary 2, are you ready? Queen Mary 2 is the tallest, widest, longest, and largest ocean liner ever built. It goes up to the equivalent of 23 stories, and it's 1,130 feet long. So to put that in perspective, if you lean the Empire State Building over, it'd be just 117 feet shorter. Yeah, this thing is long. <laughs> it is the fastest passenger ship. Its top speed is 30 knots an hour, which is about 37 miles per hour. And then backwards, it can go 19 knots, which is more than what a lot of ships can go forward. Above all that, it is really the only ocean liner in the world at sea. So what does that mean? Well, an ocean liner is built differently than a regular ship. It's incredible to watch these things just cut through like 20 feet waves like it's nothing. Speaking of insane, there's a lot of insane stuff on board, so let's just get through all of it. It has the largest library at sea with 9,000 volumes and counting. It has the world's first and only planetarium at sea. Yeah, a freaking planetarium. You're in the middle of the ocean. That is the perfect time to stargaze. So you can actually see everything and understand a little bit more about what you're seeing. It has the largest ballroom at sea, the queen's room. In that ballroom, you can do fencing. It's the only place you can do fencing at sea. It's the only one that offers kennel facilities, and that's actually one of the reasons why a lot of people do this, is that they can travel with their dog, and their dog's pampered and walk. And it also has the largest promenade deck. Three times around equals a mile. Get your steps in. And it has the first Canyon Ranch Spa. There's a lot of masks and a lot of massages. Last year. And last but not least, there are these five duplex apartments. These suites are sick. They have two marble bathrooms, a workout facility. It comes with your own freaking butler. And then, if that isn't big enough, you can combine all five suites to have 9,000 square foot apartment, making it the biggest, grandest, most extravagant. Why would you ever need that amount? <laughs> Unless you're Jay-Z and Beyonce. At sea. Beyond what this ship has to offer, when you're in this ship, you are steeped in history. Not only the feel of it, where you do really feel like you're in 1920s, but you're surrounded by all these pictures of Elizabeth Taylor being on board and the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. You know, it's always been a line at first, including creating the first ship that offered a loan for women and a library at sea. In 1893, it introduced refrigeration at sea. It's kind of important. <laughs> And in 1922, Laconia, their ship, went on the first ever world cruise. It's a really cool experience. Not only is the transatlantic crossing a really once of a lifetime bucket list experience, but being wrapped up in history. And if you know all this going in, it will change your perspective and you'll appreciate this ship a little bit more. Or in my case, a lot more. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, share, follow me on social media, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.